Look, estradiol, man boobs, big butt. Are you a man with big butt, man boobs, and very thick thighs? I'm gonna tell you right now, this was not just to bring you in. This is real, all right? If you have high estradiol levels, more than likely, if you got a big butt or a man, a lot of fat on your butt, you can shake your butt and jiggle it and all that. A lot of fat on your, your, your legs, your thighs, a whole bunch of body fat you're holding on to body fat, it's more than likely because your estradiol is very high. And those are the, the easy signs that I can see when I interact with people, when I coach my guys on obviously bringing a hormonal balance and having a good hormonal system as a man, all right? It is because your estradiol levels are high. Now, what is estradiol? Estradiol is E3, all right? It's a part of estrogen, and it is an estrogen, okay? It's a very important level to understand and know. But that is one of the symptoms and signs that high estradiol poses, all right? So like I said before, if you're dealing with a big butt is it for a man, thick thighs, a lot of body fat, holding a lot of like subcutaneous or like adipose tissue around the butt region, around, you know, the, the, the chest region, the butt, the legs, the thighs, you more than likely have high estradiol. And listen, there's things that can help you with that. All right, I coach guys and I help guys with that. Speaking of what could help you, virility. If you don't know, virility is now available again. All right, and virility is gonna help you with this. All right, if you wanna get virility, you can get it right now, free shipping all around the world, worldwide. The best, number one, the world's number one best male supplement right now in the industry, guys. All natural, all herbs, vitamins. You can go get it right now at superhumanlabs.net. Once again, that's superhumanlabs.net. Anyway, back to the main point of this. All right, that's gonna help you a lot. It really is gonna help you a lot. High estradiol is one of the reasons why men go through hormonal imbalance and estrogen dominance. If you've been watching me for a minute, you've heard me talk about estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance is more than likely or always high estrogen most of the time, all right? Comes with a lot of symptoms. Depression, mood swings, feeling real moody, feeling real sensitive, uh, feeling real emotional, um, a lot of body fat on the body, stomach, butt, thighs, chest, all these different areas. The reason why I know so much about it, guys, is because I dealt with it for years. If you've been watching me for a while, you know, I got videos. I, my one video about why you shouldn't try testosterone boosters or watch this before you try it was literally about my story dealing with estrogen dominance and going through a lot of these things. So that's why I created virility to begin with. Um, but the main point is, is listen, like I said before, if you have a big butt, a lot of fat on your butt, you more likely have high estradiol, okay? Um, some of the, the ranges or healthy ranges of estradiol would literally be between like 20 and maybe even like 15 and 34, 32, somewhere around there, right? Maybe even 40, okay? Like 20 to, 40, 20 to 40, somewhere around that rep range. That's a decent estradiol. But you gotta remember, once you start going up into the 35s, the 36s, the 38s, now you're getting into that high normal. How do you deal with this? How do you deal with having a very high estradiol? I know y'all probably wanna know, like, yo, what do I do about it, Black Superman? Listen, the main thing you're gonna have to do, first and foremost, is lower your body fat, okay? I cannot stress this <laughs> enough, all right? A lot of y'all that's dealing with high estradiol more than likely have a high body fat percentage. And the best way to lower your estradiol levels and lower it to a healthy level would be to lower your body fat. If you need help with lowering your body fat and fat loss, you can contact me, all right? You can contact me on Instagram. You can DM me at the.blacksuperman. Follow me, DM me. I can literally take you through a full out fat loss program, all right? And I like to prepare my clients for a fat loss program. I don't just get with you and just say, boom, do this, do that, do that, blah, 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 all this extra stuff. No, I take all my clients through a restoration phase get your metabolism back sped up, build that muscle, and then walk you into that fat loss phase gradually. If you want to lower your estradiol levels, if you're dealing with estrogen dominance, get you some virility, 
and you need to lower your body fat, okay? That's gonna be one of the biggest things that can help you bring your estradiol levels to a healthy level, okay? And balance out your hormones all together. You'll even notice an increase in testosterone levels, all right? So this is very important. Guys, I just got done working out too. I know y'all see me in this, in this uh, hoodie and this sweat. I should take it off, but I'm not. I like to keep this on so I can stay warmed up and, and, and hot while I'm doing my workouts, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm prepping for this contest. Y'all know what it is. But anyway, well, I'm not prepping yet, but y'all know I'm going to be doing competing this year. If you didn't know, I will be competing this year uh, in a bodybuilding competition. So anyway, guys, that's the best thing that you can do is lower your body fat. You lower that body fat, you're going to bring yourself to such a better place and space hormonally. And if you need help to do that correctly, the right way, gradually, so that you don't hurt yourself and so that you'll adhere to it and stick to it, contact me as soon as possible. If you tell me that you see me on YouTube, I'm gonna give you a, a big discount just because you, you, you're one of my superhumans, man. You're one of my superhuman lines. I'm gonna give you a great discount. Just contact me. But that's gonna be the best thing to do. Lower your body fat. Now, what's another option? So, you know, there are pharmacological options pharmaceutical. Do I recommend that you do it? No. Um, one of the reasons why I would say it, it wouldn't be terrible or bad um, is if you follow a protocol, okay? There's different things that you can utilize, but like I said, and I'm a disclaimer, look, I am not responsible for whatever may happen if you try to utilize some of these options, okay? It's just a suggestion, and I highly, highly, highly I recommend that you talk to a doctor or talk to a professional before you even go in that direction, okay? Uh, but if you are interested in maybe a protocol on how you can utilize some of these options, contact me, okay? That's different. Um, but there's things like a Remedex. A Remedex is one that's actually pretty decent. I did research on it. Um, that's not bad. Uh, tamoxifen isn't bad either, but the main thing that I would recommend is that you gradually utilize it, right? And what you want to do is focus on dosages. So, um, if you do decide to take a Remedex, I highly recommend that you take a very low dosage and that you do it very short term. Because if you take too much or you take it too long, it is going to shoot your estradiol levels super low. I'm talking stupid low. And you don't want that either. Guys, we don't want high estradiol levels and we don't want too low estradiol levels because guess what? Both of those pose the very uh, adverse effects and side effects that you don't want to experience as a man, okay? Believe it or not, you will have sex drive issues with low estradiol and sex drive issues with high estradiol. It's all about what, y'all? Y'all know my favorite word. Balance, okay? Life is about balance. Everything. I think this universe is, is, uh, is, is still existing because of balance, okay? Balance. It's all about balance. So you have to find that sweet spot in estradiol levels and you have to find that balance, okay? If you're interested in going about it in this direction, I would highly recommend that you get with your doctor or physician and make sure that you can get your hormones checked regularly so that you can watch and check out and, and, and you know, micro follow what's happening with your hormones and your estradiol levels. You don't want them to get too low. You don't want them to get too high. You want to find that balance, okay? But in a nutshell, y'all, I'm here to let you know that if you deal with some of those symptoms, if you got a big butt and you're a man, uh, you know, you got a high body fat percentage, you try to do so many different things, but it's hard for you to lower your body fat. You're going through all these changes, mentally, emotionally, you deal with depression and all these things. Your estradiol levels are probably like super duper high. And, you know, I'll do a video on your estradiol levels being low and, and what that could pose, what kind of symptoms come with that. If y'all want to see that, go ahead and throw a like, like uh, <laughs> look y'all, I'm getting tongue twisted. Go ahead and throw a like on this video. Comment below that you want to see that video. And listen, comment below if you, it might be a little hot uh, touchy, but step outside of your comfort zone and go ahead and comment below if you deal with estradiol too, like, or if you deal with having a fat butt or dealing with a high body fat percentage and all these different things, all right? Salute.